Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to continue with our series using the Modern Garden Stamp Set. And in this case, I've gone completely off the color wheel um, from the Garden Walk paper. I wanted to do something different, um, something very bright. So this one has got the Azure Afternoon um, card base. Uh, with the this flower, the center of the flower here in Azure Afternoon and Berry Burst. And then I used basic gray with the little uh, centers there. Uh, and I just went all over. Um, so I just, I'll show you how I did it. It's really very simple. Um, and you just kind of stagger it all over. So you just stamp it down like that. And then... Uh, come in with your basic gray center and just add your dots in the center and it's really effective it's just an abstract flower um, that you can uh, just put as many or as few as you want on so uh, this one we've got the berry burst uh, card base I'm just going to flat mount this uh, you could do this as a one sheet wonder. I just did two pieces uh, like this and just line that up and drop it down. And I'm going to stamp the greeting, enjoy your special day, which is uh, from the stamp set. I'm just going to stamp that down, lift it up. And I kept thinking I was pressing too hard, but the special day is actually just a little bit uh, darker. It's It changes font in the middle. And I was thinking, oh, I'm pressing too hard, but actually I wasn't, so it's all good. I'm going to use one of the Stylish Shapes um, banner dies to cut this out. So we'll just give that a piece of uh, sticky note on there to hold it in place. We'll run it through the machine, and there we go, thunk. So, let's take that out. Don't seem to be very coordinated today. All right, so we have got our Enjoy Your Special Day greeting. So, and of course, I put this down, and I shouldn't have, because I haven't put the ribbon around it yet. So I'm just going to gently peel this up. And this is how you do it. If you've stuck something down and you don't want it to be stuck down, you just slide your bone folder underneath and just wiggle it until it comes out. So I'm just going to hold this up. I'm going to put, um, I'll talk about the ribbon once I put it in. I'm just gonna pop that down like that. And of course it's not gonna stick. So, sorry, we're just gonna lift that back up again. And I'm going to put some adhesive just on here like this, just to hold that down and give it a press. And then I'm going to put adhesive on the front of the card because I want to use dimensionals on the greeting. And if I don't stick the ribbon down, the greeting will wander. So there we go, lift that up. I'm going to tuck that end under. It's not the most efficient way to do this, but um, this is how you fix it if you uh, jump ahead. So there we go. So that's stuck back down now. Okay, so dimensionals on the back of the greeting. So I'll pop one like that. And one, whoops, that just does not want to go back down. There we go. Uh, one more down. There we go. You can stick that right in the middle and you'll notice on here i'm sure you've all noticed that there's a little bit of a blip um, so we're going to cover that up so i'm just going to put this down so it's in the middle of the ribbon in the middle of the card and because i adhered it it won't go anywhere so what i did i thought it looked a bit plain so i took uh, some of the classic matte dots and i colored those with the blends um, I used the uh, Berry Burst, the Dark Berry Burst on this one, and the Dark Azure Afternoon on the other one. And where that blip is, look, it's gone. 
So just popping these on, I did five. You usually do an uneven number. It's just aesthetically better and wherever they look like they belong. So there we go. So that is uh, a different take on using the Modern Garden stamp set, um, moving away from the colors in the Garden Walk. So let me know which one you prefer, whether you prefer the uh, Berry Burst or the Azure Afternoon. And this is the ribbon that I used. It comes in a pack with the, uh, I think it's Lemon Lolly as well. And I just used my blend to color the ribbon. You can still see the little end on it there. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together soon. <laughs>